Hey, welcome back to Wolfenstein 2 The Freedom Chronicles. We are at the last volume of the last episode. So, if everything goes according to plan, which I'm sure it will, this is going to be probably the last time I'm going to record uh, anything for Wolfenstein 2. So, yay, special occasion. But anyway, we're let's just go through with it. Back in the 30s, I was forced to enlist in the army. Training was hell, but there was one thing that kept me going. My sweetheart, Henrietta. Hattie was everything to me. Made me feel important, feel needed. We were even planning on tying the knot the day I got out of the service. That day never came. I never went home. Never heard from Henrietta again. You know what you've got to do in there, just... Come back. There's still a lot we need to talk about. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. And be careful, okay? You'll be trapped down there with half the German army. That's where you're wrong, Kenny. I'm not trapped down there with them. They're trapped in there with me. My best friend was a Nazi. I have a daughter. This General Schwartz was about to destroy a chunk of America and I had to stop him. I was gonna kill every goddamn Nazi in my way. So where am I? Back in America a few days. My best friend was a goddamn Nazi and I had a daughter I never knew about. Didn't know how to feel. Just feel surprised, I guess. Both events are surprising. That's Good thing I was in a boat full of Nazis for me to tear through. I genuinely thought that was the silencer. Okay, I may have overreacted to a grenade, but you know, it's a grenade. You never can really overreact to it. Oh man. That guy wore some really tough armor. Well, we are off to a wonderful start. Didn't know how to feel. Does this one have a silencer? Good thing I was in a boat full of Nazis for me to tear through. Okay. I'm about to die. Despite a relatively rough start, oh, this guy looks great. Look at that, that's awesome. Okay, it's uh, really violent. Uh, and uh, violence is not cool, okay? But seriously, it's really awesome. Wow. Did I just witness some sort of Nazi commanding level ritual? Because that felt almost religious. Let's see about that. Oh, 
yeah. I have maneuvered against you. You have been outmaneuvered. I know about the mechanical lag, Jesus. But, what should I do with it? Yeah. Clive crosses e post or Clive is dead. It is from the owl. The owl may be the secret villain. Finally, I can send a goddamn letter without using that insufferable coding. That old bastard taught me that, you know. In any case, we have Wilkins and his daughter trapped and ready to deliver straight to you. We have to disable the target significantly or he could potentially escape. I've seen him do more with less. I'm glad to be through with this decade long manhunt and re re ready to finally return to Berlin. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. We'll discuss this in a few hours. Cross. No, you won't. You won't discuss anything with anyone for a very freaking long time. God damn it. What was I supposed to do with it again? Uh, I guess you would do. Motherfuck! I need to melt it with something. So I'm guessing there's a melting gun. Somewhere in here. But I won't be able to transport it up here, so... What do I do with this? Oh. Why did I think it was anything more complicated than this? Are you inside? What the hell? Get out of my head, Spectre! It's a portable radio. How old are you? This dumb thing? I thought it was to keep water out of my ears. You put them on underwater? <sighs> Whatever. I found some blueprints on the base. If you keep moving still forward, working. you'll run into the bulk of the enemy forces. That suits me just fine. I need to feast on some... That's stupid. There are maintenance hatches nearby and you can avoid them. Take those. Oh. <laughs> He's like a it was kid. surreal, receiving orders from my daughter and she was right i had a job to do i wasn't here to kill nazis for laughs but we always kill nazis for laughs that's the only good that's the only thing nazis are good for oh shit Oh my god. Waste of good axe. Oh, 
Okay, what now? Oh. Ow, my head. Uh, Officer Neuras note, sorry I had to cancel our card game. The general is running me ra ragged with these ridiculous requests. Last night, he woke me up in the middle of the night because he wanted to go hunt hunting. We took him out into the wilderness and an hour later he, exploit he exploded in rage when we pointed him towards some animals. He wanted to hunt Unter Mansion and I thought we had some sp to spare. Just a week ago, he demanded we eliminate all of them in the territory and now this. I've heard his parties are fantastic, but this is ridiculous and I can't wait for this month to be over. We have a party ourselves after the general leaves, if he doesn't work us into the ground first. Well, I'm gonna put you in the ground, so if it's all the same to you... Uh, I don't know how many people are defending this place, but why bother finding out? Come on, let's see how let's see what you got. Are you growling? Somewhere down there, there's a dog barking. I'd like to know where it is. I don't want to go down there if there's a puppy. Yes, I'm right over here. Please shoot at me. Come on out. Yes, that definitely compels you to come forward. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me see you. There we go. Dog, 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 dog. One officer down. Are you nothing of interest? My god. I told you to switch the weapon. Okay. 
You might want to treat that burn because it looks uh, kind of serious from here. Uh, anyway, I'm out of here. So, where am I going exactly? I have to ask this question every time, everywhere I go. This game is just make me question the fundamental questions in life. You know, who am I? Where am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? You don't really appreciate the value of these questions until you play uh, some video game and get stuck. Didn't get to throw the grenade, did he? Oh, he didn't. That's nice. To uh, incompetent Commander Schrempf from General Wolfgang Schwartz. I've been informed that several of my most important guests have refused my invitation and would only like to wonder why. Is it because your men somehow failed to present my invitations? Is it because your men have sullied the reputation of the Reich with the poor handling of this shame of a base constructed in the middle of nowhere? Guests have never cancelled on me until now, the greatest moment in the history of the Reich. I will expect a formal apology by the end of the week. I will decide what to do with you after that. He sounds really serious. Maybe he needs to take a chill pill. What did I just tell you about fighting down there? Hey. I had no choice. I didn't even want to fight, I swear. Seriously? Nah, it was great. <laughs> <sighs> From there, you can directly access the barracks. Try not to make too much noise, Captain. Sure. And Jenny? Not happening. Call me Dad. I'll think about it. These are Nazis! What do you think I was gonna do with them? Ginny, I swear I didn't have a choice. Hello, Captain. This is Schwarz. I thought you had been taken care of, but I suppose the owl had outlived his usefulness. No matter, this room will be your tomb. Nothing can stop the sun and give air. This was this to Moran the Mor to the Moranic Commander Shrimp from Schwartz again. Did you think that perhaps I was still in the tongue? That my res that my nostrils could not smell? That I had no eyes to see the horrendous presentation? How could you possibly think this swill could be considered an entree at my celebration? I demand the finest quality dishes. You will rectify this mistake, Commandant, or you will be leaving my party through the torpedo tubes. 
I don't know, this shrimp guy. He sounds a little bit iffy. Wow! Wow. Better use this. Just to compare to the designated vill villains from the first two episodes, this shrimp guy doesn't seem all that threatening for some reason. Officer Wak Wak note. I I don't know how to s pronounce that. Keep keep this on quiet. But I've heard some things regarding the generous party and what we'll be doing. Apparently, we have some gigantic thing floating in space, and get this, it can attack anywhere on the planet, and not just attack, obliterate, like an atomic bomb. We can fire with no warning and completely obliterate the target. Keep this quiet. If this thing is as amazing as I've heard, I can see why the general wants to keep it secret until his big party. You know how mad he is about his appetizers. Imagine what he would do if he finds our people are talking about it behind his back. Then why are you talking about it behind his back? But thank you for talking about it behind his I'd back. I'd up on probably normal life. Shit. Figured I'd go down in combat. Maybe that's what I wanted. Suicide by Nazis. Are you saying this out loud? With Ginny around though, maybe there was something to fight for. To live for. Schwartz was close. My long journey was coming to an end. I was going to shut down this sun gun. Sun gun. Sun gun. What am I supposed to do with this? Got it. Heute findet das wahrscheinlich wichtigste Ereignis in der Geschichte des Deutschen Reiches statt. Sie wurden persönlich ausgewählt, um Zeugen des Starts der größten jemals von Menschen gebauten Waffe zu werden. Heute starten wir das Sonnengewehr. Nach Jahrzehnten der Forschung werden wir mit dem von unseren Wissenschaftlern entwickelten Sonnengewehr Enjoy your meal, because it's your last. Ah, shit. 
Okay, they went out of ammo at a really bad moment. Hence the, has my tragic passing. But we learned a valuable lesson today. Don't be a fucking idiot. And with that lesson, our success is guaranteed. Heute findet das wahrscheinlich wichtigste Ereignis in der Geschichte des Deutschen Reiches statt. Sie wurden persönlich ausgewählt, um Zeugen des. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I Enjoy interrupt your, your speech? Party's over, Schwartz. Make it easier for both of us. That's right. Down here so I can tear your head off. You are a cockroach, a relic of a long gone era. Ah, man. You will not interrupt our grand achievement. This is a weird place for shooting. Shut up, puppy. Oh no. You got a good start. Oh no, oh no, oh no, not good, not good, so not good. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the health to regenerate a bit. Wait a second, I never wanted this. Is he gone? Yes, I think the big robot is gone. What a relief. Time to get on, get down there and get me some ammo. Jesus Christ! What a consumption! Oh, speaking of consumption, I'm just gonna eat your fist if you don't mind very much. Now. Wow, there's so much food. It's apparent apparently the game intends for me to just dash all around fulfilling this level, but instead I did what I usually do, just stay in one safe place and take them all in one safe spot. And uh, usually that safe spot is where you start with. Which is a tactic that that really works, but I think kind of breaks the game. 
but you can't blame me. The game makes it very easy to make that choice. It's over, Schwartz. Back away from the console. Over, Hamilkins? Don't you know who I am? The Juggernaut? My mission will not be stopped. Shoot me and I pull this lever. Firing the Sonnengewehr. It's a lever. It doesn't work like that. Your precious daughter to be its first target. Damn it. You win, Schwartz. <laughs> you old fool. Nothing will stop the Sonnengewehr. Damn it, no! <laughs> wow, what a stupid face. <laughs> what? What's going on? Dad, come in. It took a while, but I took out all the satellite dishes in the area. I don't think they can contact space from there anymore. You're saying he can't fire the sun gun, and I can tear this motherfucker apart? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Give him hell. Bounding moment. <clears throat> Roger that. Well, what's with the tiger roar? Oh, ho, 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 ho. God damn it! Captain, this is all a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. We can work through this, can't we? Ah, uh, I don't know. How much dialogue do you we have? Don't need to resort to violence, do we? Um, we no, we don't you. have to. You are the winner now. Let's see what else you can say. Oh, that's it. So you are so insignificant of a character that they only recorded the three lines for you. Okay, I get it. Okay, just before I kill you, I want to tell you this really cool joke. And no, I'm just kidding. See, that's the joke. supposed to be go oh of course Dad, you did it welcome back yeah yeah mission complete you didn't do too bad yourself <laughs> I think we did great you know dad I I think we make a pretty good team think you got another fight left in you we did make a pretty good team and I wasn't ready to hang these boots up yet that sun gun is still out there. We've still got a job to do. And that is the end of the f of the deeds of Captain Wilkins, as well as the end of the Freedom Chronicles, as well as the end of Wolfenstein 2. It's been a journey, and I thank you for accompanying me on that journey. This game overall has been really great. And especially the main campaign, that's still, the, I think, the best part of the game. The plot, BJ's story was really great. The, the ending came to me as a surprise, but in retrospect, he came through a full journey. The only reason I didn't expect the ending to come at the time was more like because I uh, there were still so many dangling plot threads at the time. I thought they would well, at least most of them would be resolved by the end of this game, but I guess not. But it, the main campaign was still great. Freedom Chronicles are well, they are they are good to play through because the gameplay of this game itself is very solid. Otherwise, I have to say they are a bit of a letdown, just because they play so similarly to the main campaign. It's uh, it's get, it get. I mean, it's nice to know these other stories, set in the same universe, but they're not very fleshed out of stories, and the, the gameplay is again 
really similar. There's not a lot, whole lot of things that are different in the Freedom Chronicles to warrant the spending the extra time with them. So, on that front, I think it was, uh, it could have been more. It was still really, it was still not bad, but it could have been more. It could be better. Overall, Wolfenstein 2, great game. And uh, I'm ready to move on from here now, so I guess the next I will be playing Wolfenstein Youngblood, which is a game. I've already bought the game, but I don't know what to expect from it. Because uh, it's supposed to be a multiplayer co-op game, but I don't have another player to play with me. I'm gonna have to play solo, so I don't know how that's going to affect the enjoyability of it. It's supposed to be a spin-off of the franchise, not a direct sequel. So there's that, and plus, the game seems to be garnering very mixed reviews. So, like I said, I don't know what to expect from it, I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but Wolfenstein 2, I did. Thank you for watching, and if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next playthrough, I'll see you in Wolfenstein Youngblood, until then, just uh, have a good life, take good care, and uh, peace out.